Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Vivo Move 3 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the initial setup on your Vivo Move 3 or Vivo Move 3S. So we'll go through how to first turn on the watch, then connect it through Bluetooth to your phone and get it connected to your Garmin account as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is simply take the charging cable here, take this end of the charging cable and go to the back of your watch and then plug it in to the connector right there on the Vivo Move 3. It should snap in where it kind of stays in firmly where you can't pull it out easily. Once you've plugged in your Vivo Move 3, go ahead and plug the other end into a wall charger or a power bank, something like that that gives power so that it will turn on the watch. As you can see, the emblem right there is showing up. And the way it's flashing right there is just an effect of the camera. That's not the way it actually looks. So now we have our Vivo Move 3 turned on. Now we need to select the language that the watch will be using. We can do that by just tapping the watch face and then scroll through using the right and left arrows until you find your desired language. I'm gonna be using English, so I'll just select that. And now that we're at the pair now screen, we need to go to our phone before we actually put the watch in pairing mode. With your phone, go to your respective app store, so either the iTunes app store or the Google Play store, and install the Garmin Connect app. Check the description, I'll have links down there so you can just click that, go directly to it. But you wanna go ahead and get the app installed on your phone, then open it up. And if you don't already have a Garmin account, get one created but I'm gonna go ahead and go and sign in. Now let's go back to our Vivo Move 3, go ahead and select Pair Now, and it's gonna tell us it's searching for the Garmin Connect app. Then on your phone, open the Garmin Connect app. Once you get the app open, go ahead and select the plus symbol. And as you can see here, it found the Vivo Move 3, so we can select Connect It, select OK. When it comes up with this asking for a code, go to your Vivo Move 3 and you should see a six digit code. We just need to enter that in and then select OK and then it will pair it with your phone and start syncing all the information that it needs. So if you have multiple Garmin watches, you can make the Vivo Move 3 your preferred watch, your main watch, by selecting yes here. If you don't have a second watch, then it really doesn't matter. After it performs that initial sync, you'll see the check mark, and that means you are done setting it up. So you can start using it now if you want to. I do recommend going through the steps in the Garmin app just to set up your account with an avatar, things like that setting up your BMI and putting in some information about your body type, things like that, and your activity level. When it asks you about the typical sleep time, I recommend trying to put some accurate information here because it not only helps the watch track your sleep, but the watch will actually turn off any notifications and vibrations during that time if you just select no right here. So it can prevent you from being woken up by your watch during those times. Once you go through that, you can actually select what the watch face will look like. This is really just a preference. So you can see the time in digital, you can see your steps, or you can see a lot more information such as the date, your steps, stairs climbed, and your body battery. So I'm gonna select that, we can see how it works. Then select next. Now for setting some goals, I like to have Garmin set the goals automatically based on my activity level. So I'm gonna skip this. Then once you get through all the different items in the app, you'll be asked to perform a sync. So go ahead and select that. And as you can see, we now set up in the app and if you see this, that means that it's going to take you through a tour of how to use it. You can start that by just hitting the check mark right there with your finger. All right, so that's how you perform the initial setup on your Vivo Move 3. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Vivo Move 3 or Vivo Move 3S tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.